My name's Duddy, it's Settle Builds and Stuff, and today I've got an absolutely insane strand hunter build for you today, featuring the Fortracer, Monochromatic, Maestro, got fixed on Tuesday night, so we're going to do the build all based around that and the Fortracer, do some absolutely humongous damage instantaneously, times 5 weapon damage bonus, so stay tuned, instant damage bonus like I said, instant destruction, Fortracer, Damaging a powerful combatant or a guardian with an ability grants you a temporary bonus to weapon damage matching your subclass type. Defeating the target with a weapon matching the damage type of your subclass creates an elemental pickup. So as soon as we damage something with one of our abilities, we're going to get a times 4 weapon damage which equates to 25% weapon damage increase on our strand weapons instantaneously just by doing damage with an ability. This hasn't been working on strand all season. But the fixed fortress had to work with Strand and the fixed Monochromatic Maestro. I think it's coded the same, but these both stack together. Monochromatic Maestro dealing elemental damage increases matching weapon damage, and elemental weapon damage increases matching ability damage for 10% for 5 seconds. So as soon as we hit something with our ability or our weapon, we're going to get a damage increase either way. You'll see there I've got my damage boost for 5 seconds when I hit him with a hit this wizard with a strand weapon that's 10 percent ability damage for five seconds which is pretty tasty and if you run things like widow silk with grapple you can have two abilities on the bounce via grapple melee like so you'll see here i'm just going to go in grapple and you'll see that times five a strand weapon boost ordinarily it's a times four with fur tracer but if you've got monochromatic maestro on it makes it to a times five times five a strand weapon damage bonus is absolutely crazy like i said with grapple grenades on a hunter with widow silk you get two of them so you've got two ways of getting a nice damage increase if we look at this number 1315 i'm going to use my grapple melee on him and you're going to see that times five of weapon boost for my strand weapons it's going to go all the way up to 1808 that is a 38 percent damage increase near enough just for doing damage with an ability which is really really nice and then on top of that, you've got your Monochromatic Maestro. Whatever you damage with a strand weapon, you're going to get 10% on your abilities. So 10% on your Super and your Grapple Grenade is nice. You've also got your Threaded Spike on the Hunter. It uh, severs targets like a little threaded needle. That's also another way to proc your Monochromatic Maestro and your Bow Tracer. Look at that, you can just consistently spam your melee. Use a nice strand rocket launcher, something like that. And it's just an instant way of getting a times 5 damage boost. I managed to kill myself there, but you catch where I'm going with it. So you've got loads of different ways to proc your monochromatic maestro. You grapple, your melee, your supers. Hit them with a strand weapon. You've just got damage left, right and centre. Whichever way you want to go with it. And the times 5 weapon boost does stack us out of a well because everything stacks with radiant anyway so you get a 25% extra damage as well on top of that if you're inside a well. Shackle grenade is another one you could pair with this if you wanted to versus the grapple. So if you run a shackle grenade it also procs monochromatic maestro like this. A times 5 weapon boost. Grab shackle an enemy, suspend them, get instant damage increase. And it feels so so nice as again with something like a strand rocket launcher or a strand linear or a strand rocket launcher you could put out some serious damage you don't even have to actually suspend them as long as you hit them with that you get that times five strand weapon boost straight off the bat instant damage really good for solo team play as well solo or team play rather if you're on your own, you don't really have to rely on orbs and things like that. It's just an instant damage increase. So it's super, super useful for all different types of activities. Lost sectors, solo GMs, things like that. I'll quickly go over my aspects. I always, always run the Wailing Maelstrom as my main aspect. It's just too good not to run. It does those little tangle Whaley boys that just do so much damage. I've covered this quite a lot and I'm sure everybody else has. Widow Silk is a, one of the aspects... You can switch out, but with this one, if you run it with a uh, grapple, you get two grapple grenades. You can always switch that out to an ensnaring slam if you wanted to. Uh, if you was going to maybe run shackle grenades or the threaded spectre, you can also, again, switch out to that one. I always run the Welling Maelstrom and one other aspect. 
You've got your gambler's dodge, where every time you dodge, you're going to fully charge your melee ability. So you've always got an ability at hand. Thread of warding, picking up an orb of power, grants woven mail. This is the main fragment I like to run with this one, it's too good. Thread of transmutation, while you have woven mail, weapon, final blows, create a tangle. That's perfect for your whirling maelstrom. Thread of generation, dealing damage, generates grenade energy. Again, too good not to use. And thread of continuity, suspend, and ravel, and sever effects have increased duration. Weapons to go with this build, Quicksilver Storm is an absolutely no-brainer, very, very easy to use. You'll see here, I'm going to get the grenades charged up, hit him with my ability, times farm strand weapon boost, and this barrier champion is mincemeat, really fast, pick that up, you've got your whirling maelstrom from the strand that you've created, from the tangle, sorry, crazy, crazy stuff. Until it's returned, shotgun is another option to run. Getting a times 5 or something like a sword breaker, getting a times 5 weapon damage on a shotgun instantaneously also is extremely, extremely powerful. And again, it's just so easy to do. You grapple or a shackle, whichever one you're running, or you threaded spike, melee, and you've literally just got damage left, right, and center. So easy to proc. Literally, literally so easy and it's really good for lost sectors and sort of like GMs or even if you do something solo. Bang of air, yut, scout rifle is another one that works really nicely. Corex is distressed, the grenade launcher. Again, just getting instant damage on these weapons, these strand weapons is really, really nice. The grenade launcher felt very, very nice if you've got a strand grenade launcher lying about. Uh, look at this, instant damage uh, boost from my melee. And again, that unstoppable champion is pretty much gone. Everything you've seen, apart from the raid clips, was all 1840 or GM gameplay. Uh, again, just look at that absolute mincemeat. I'm not going to go for every strand weapon, but these are just some other ones to consider with this build. Explosive light, rocket launcher, the laser painter from Gambit, if you're there going Gambit. Thin precipice, the sword, I've done this one quite a lot over the last couple of seasons. That's an excellent sword. Circular logic, strand sort of uh, machine gun so you've got loads of different options for different champions anti-barrier overload unstop things like that you covered so yeah that's the build the only thing i've got left to do now is show you my mods the mods are also pretty important because fur tracer doesn't stack with sages but that is a really good thing in my opinion because i build around the grenade recharge rate and some other things as well so stay tuned the fur tracer like i mentioned doesn't stack with weapon sages you don't need to getting a times five or times four weapon uh, boost straight off the bat is absolutely crazy so with us not needing to build into weapon surges what i tend to do is just run one siphon mod just to create an orbit here and there just like a strand weapon surge double heavy ammo finder is extremely useful or double special ammo finder if you wish on my arms i like to run heavy handed my powered melee final blows create an orb of power i also like to run grenade kickstart so we get nice chunks of grenade energy back when we consume our grenade and on my, the other one is bolstering detonation grants class ability when you cause damage with a grenade on my chest piece concussive dampener i just always run one of them and then i also match the activity what i'm doing whether it's solar arc resistance on my legs i like to run strand scavenger again extremely extremely useful now we don't need to run surges I also like to run stacks on stacks, picking up an orb of power, gants you too, that just helps your grenade kickstart on your arms, really nice as well. Strand holster, extremely useful, last thing you want to be doing is having to reload, pull your machine gun out when it's already loaded, but you can also build into better already, or recuperation for health regen if you wish, seeing as we don't need surges. On my class item, distribution, reduce our class ability, when you use your class ability in a target, so then I buff my grenade recharge out with double bomber. But that is the video, uh, I'll leave a dim link, I'll also leave all this playing out like so, let us know what you think, have a great day.